Hi everybody, this is Sithi Readings and hi Pisces. This is going to be a bonus reading for you guys. So let's have a look at what messages are going to show up for you. I will link um, the extended in the description box if you're interested. Let's see. And if you would like to book a one question reading with me, you can. The link will be in the description box. Okay. I'm hearing I don't want to let go. So there's somebody, Pisces, who doesn't want to let go of you. Okay. It, it almost looks like you're avoiding this person. Um, right now you're in this energy where I feel like you're focused on yourself. But there is somebody here you're avoiding is what I see. Okay. There's somebody you're avoiding. For you, your clarity of mind, clarity of thought is what is the most important right now, okay? Um, it's almost like you have seen the reality of a situation and now you are dealing with that situation accordingly, okay? That is the kind of an energy I'm getting here. But I also feel like recently you realized that Mm. you realize that you deserved better than you know you were getting in a particular situation in love and i know i've just picked up one card here but i'm picking up a lot of messages for you okay um Number nine, six, and three are significant, and three, six, nine is a significant number anyway. So your birthday could be on those dates, or you could be born. Um, no, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> those dates could be significant for you. You could be thirty six, um, thirty three, thirty nine, twenty six, twenty three, twenty nine, whatever. Okay. Um, I feel like Pisces, there's some something you feel is like you have already left it behind. See, with the five of cups. So it, it does look like you have recently been really disappointed, especially in a love situation. I feel like you're turning your back to somebody, Pisces. Um, some of you may have also ended something abruptly with the person or they ended it abruptly with you because it's almost looking like you have accepted that okay i'm turning my back to this and you know that's it for me so for you i'm really getting here that you've already made up your mind to turn your back to a particular situation with the emperor the ace of wands yeah it does look like pisces somebody in the past decided you know i feel like they started to act up energetically and then you were like you know what I'm out, you know? So with the Emperor and the Ace of Wands, there's something new here that you may be focused on, um, a new venture or something that you're passionate about. But to me, it looks like Pisces, there is somebody here you recently connected with uh, uh, romantically, but you may have felt like, you know, there was more lust than anything in the situation. And don't get me wrong, it looks like you also, you also were finding somebody really hot, but it's like now you're looking past that. It's almost like, okay, I like this person, they look hot, but what else, you know? I see you very much in control. I see you maybe even focused on your money, goals, business. For you, a sense of balance is, is what the focus is on right now. With the King of Swords here, I also see you detaching from somebody. Um, I feel like um, you may have detached from a situation that you felt like, you know, you... It's almost like you had to compromise on your self-respect to be with somebody and then you decided to just take a break. Okay, so with the three of swords here, I do feel like you're heartbroken and sad, but you're healing. Okay, your your focus is not on, you know, what went wrong and this, that, and the other. Now you're trying to move past that energy. Okay. You're trying to move past what was, okay? With the Three of Swords, healing yourself, healing your heart. 
overall energy is the ace of oh my goodness it's like the sun is going in and out uh ace of cups is here with the king of wands pisces and the eight of pentacles uh you're working on yourself you're also letting go of something pisces you're letting go of something significant is what i'm getting It's, it's almost like what you're letting go of is something that once you felt um, was going to work or you had really high hopes in regards to that. Okay. Um, because with the King of Wands and the Ace of Cups, there is a new start, by the way, that you are going to be moving towards. And there is a lot of masculine energy in your reading, which tells me that there's something here about taking action, taking control. But it's it's like there could also be somebody else coming in your life, okay? Um, there could be a fire sign, um, Aries Leo Sagittarius coming towards you, or... Uh, they, this person must have some significant fire placements, okay? Um, because with the Ace of Cups and the King of Wands, somebody's coming in and offering you love, and it's 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 looking like they're very passionate about it, and they're taking it serious. For you, it's almost like you don't want to get entangled in the same thing over and over again. So I do feel like there's somebody showing up with love. It could be a different person from the one you disconnected from because there's this energy of new love. Hierophant. Pisces, for you, what is the most important is your, your standards, your values, your morals. There's something also here that you may be following like a new routine or, you know, managing your routine. You know, some of you could be into spirituality, religion, tarot, it's like you hold your beliefs very close to your heart and you know you're somebody here who's who is a person of morals character okay good character and i feel like for you that is the most important two of pentacles is here and in the near future you may even have a choice to make uh, but for you, I feel like the most important is your money situation and a sense of balance. If there is another person coming in, then they have to bring that kind of an energy that makes you want to give them your time, you know. But it's almost like you already, some of you are planning things ahead for, for you know, you may be planning a trip. But I see a decision being made in the near future. King, uh, sorry, the queen of pentacles so pisces i like your energy because i feel like you know mostly you kind of dumb yourself down just so other people feel comfortable in your energy but recently you have been looking at how far you've come in your life and you know a message for you here is to actually take pride in what you've built in your life you know because honestly sometimes people don't even deserve the attention we give them and when we give them that attention they act like you know they run the world or something like that but in reality it's like we are actually dumbing ourselves down to just to just just so somebody else feels comfortable with the two of pentacles and the queen of pentacles i feel like the message for you is to take pride in your in your achievements in how far you have come you know your grounded stable energy here Some of you may even have anxiety <clears throat> or there's something here about um, being stressed. Um, so there, I feel like there's something here about anxiety, okay? And you may have had always, you know, it's like you may have lived a very tough life for the most part. And you had to be the one who had to show up, you know, for yourself. So it's like you have been a one-man army all your life, okay? And actually, the message for you here is to take a look at how far you have come and acknowledge that, you know? Because in the midst of all of this chaos, sometimes we get lost, okay? It's about knowing who you are, where you stand. And I feel like you know that, but sometimes you don't. Okay, 
What are the general messages for Pisces? Any general messages? Um, the world card with the high priestess. You may be feeling inclined to close certain cycles in your life, but I feel like what you really want is to cultivate success um, in other areas of your life too. So it's like there may be a chapter that is closing or there's something here that you may already work on, but you want something more or something else that you want to expand on, okay? Um, and I'm getting here, Pisces, that a lot of you are going to be guided through your intuition okay you have it's it's almost like she's holding the key here so you know what to do uh you know what to say what not to say but i feel like one thing also i'm going to tell you is to keep your mouth shut <laughs> okay um don't get over excited all right um and I can talk to you like this, okay? Please, like, I, I already see somebody leaving a comment. Like, you know, you, you shouldn't be talking to us like that and all of that, you know? Just, I can't talk to you like this because I'm a Pisces myself, okay? All right. So it, it's like, um, can I say something? There is somebody here recently you overshared uh, something with. Uh, about your life and you regret it or you tend to be an oversharer so you meet people you talk to people and then you're all of a sudden you're like so when i when i was born this happened and then i went to that school or as a toddler i was like this and then i grew up and then in high school this happened and that happened no you don't have to share all of that especially if you're gonna meet somebody new pisces keep in mind that you don't have to reveal everything about yourself uh, just because you like somebody. There's something here about you not oversharing, <clears throat> okay? And I think here that if you are feeling motivated to create something or to move towards a new beginning in your life, there's very much like I see success in it because, in it because the world card also represents success. But you also need to learn to not uh, avoid your intuition because at times it's like you are in particular situations and your intuition tells you otherwise and you're like no 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 like maybe it's just like I'm getting paranoid and stuff no page of pentacles I see something new starting in the money situation I also see somebody coming towards you could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn uh, what's that page of pentacles representing Somebody's going to be communicating with you. It could be a Libra as well, a Leo. The signs in this reading are Pisces, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Libra, okay. Um, somebody's coming in. Somebody could also invite you for for dinner, okay? I'm just I'm just saying, but there's this energy of somebody coming in, but it's it's almost like is it that when you talk to this person you feel like you overreact or like there's something here that is energetically draining you and spirit is saying you need to have a look at what has been energetically draining you and not get involved in that situation again and again especially if you feel like you if you feel like in a particular situation you constantly have to defend yourself okay you don't have to do that you know you don't have to be in that constant flight or fight you know um, but yeah, I do, I do see here that there could also be some sort of a news coming. The page of pentacles can also represent news sometimes, uh, in regards to a legal settlement with the justice, but to me, it looks like there could be communication as well. I do see that, you know, the kind of energy you're project projecting, it's attracting people towards you. It is, but you got to be discerning, you know, that's, that's on your end. Um, so let's see. I don't want to use Oracle messages today. I just don't want to. So we will just use Tarot and see what shows up. What is the advice for Pisces? First advice, Nine of Pentacles. Second advice, let me show you. Uh, there was a card in here that was flipped here. So a lot of you, first of all, you may be single or you recently got single. There's something here about cherishing uh, your life, 
no matter if you're single, if you're dating somebody, Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups talks about you being you by yourself, okay? Um, so this is about being happy and feeling content within yourself. It's like you have a lot to choose from. Nine of Cups can also represent a wish fulfillment. But why does it look like some of you sometimes feel like you, you feel a little lonely and a little bored, you know? And because you feel that way, sometimes you talk to people who are not even worth it okay we all do that sometimes but i feel like the message for you here has something to do with being self-sufficient five of cups two of ones you know i'm getting a picture of a bird uh okay this is weird because it's almost like there's a bird okay i'm okay i'm getting this in my head and i have to tell you there is a bird okay and you know the the window is wide open for the bird to go out and be free you know but for some reason the bird keeps hitting his head on the walls of the room or whatever it is you know so the bird is you and the window is representing choice for you. I don't know, I just got that visual like this, okay? So Pisces, don't get stuck in the same energy again and again because you have a choice to be free or to be stuck. But staying stuck means you're always hoping that, oh, maybe one day it's gonna change, but just flying out of that you know, window means that you're gonna be free. So it's the choice is yours to free yourself or to engage yourself even further. But even if you're dealing with somebody, I just don't feel like they're going to change that much, especially if it's a pause person. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. Again, you know, both of these queens are very self-sufficient. Um, regardless of your gender, this just represents a very grounded, stable, nurturing energy. And I feel like that is who you are as a person. And it is okay. But you gotta you you gotta be careful with who you are being generous with, because usually people take it for granted. Okay, the Fool card and the High Priestess again. So High Priestess is also coming twice. This is your intuition. Some of you like to read books or educate yourself, but the Fool card is talking about embarking on a new journey. Pisces, you just have to stop caring about somebody so much. That's it okay so now let's actually pull some cards for the person you're connecting with and i'm going to reveal those in your extended and in the extended i'm also going to see what are your blessings and challenges but let's see let's see so this is how your person sees you this is how they feel about you. This is their future actions. This is how you feel about them. And future of this connection and your advice. So those are the cards that I've laid down for you. We will see in the extended what is the answer to that. So if you want to know, check out the extended. But that's it. That's where I'm going to leave you. And leave a like if this resonated with you. And subscribe to my channel pisces and you can also book a one question reading with me like i said before the link will be in the description box and i'll see you guys next time bye